Morning in Longo. Well, I want to talk today about learning the language. Um, could I? Should I? Can I? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have never been very good at languages. I have tried some in school. Um, English, I do okay because I've spoken it my whole life. Let's see, I haven't tried, I've taken lessons in Hebrew, French, and Spanish. None of them stuck very well. I know a little bit of Spanish simply because I would use it some at work and on vacations. I went to Mexico for a lot of vacations. Uh, never got conversational, but I could get by. And that's really all I want to try and do on Elongo. I don't really want to learn Tagalog because here in Iloilo, they don't really speak Tagalog. They can, but they don't want to. I have been told either speak Elongo or English because they don't want to speak Tagalog. That seems to be common here. I've talked to some people in Cebu that say the same thing. They don't want to speak Tagalog. They want to speak Visaya, Cebuano, whatever you call it. The Longo actually is not the language. The Longo is the people. It's like Hilaginyan is the language. But everyone calls it a Longo. So I call it a Longo. It is not correct, but it is common use. And that's good enough. When they speak here, it's very like sing-song. It's not a tonal language, but it's, um, it's lyrical in their intonation and their cadence. Being from Texas, my speech ain't so lyrical. Know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't think I will ever sound like a local. And I really don't care. All I want to learn is enough to be conversational. But you have to get some of the intonation, the, the diction, correct enough that they can understand you. Now, whether it's ever as fluent as theirs, is not a concern but like today on the jeepney I had no change from I had eight peso fare I had only four pesos so I had to pay with a 20 and when you hand up a bill he just kind of holds up the bill and looks in the mirror which is him asking whose is this and where are you going so I said Benoit he then starts handing me back my change. It's a good system. But the lady behind me started going, Benoit, and laughing. So she was rather loudly making fun of me saying Benoit, which means to town, just going down to the market. Benoit is town. She was either making fun of my destination or my pronunciation, most likely the pronunciation. I've never seen these words spelled out, so all I know is what they sound like when I hear them. And I hear Benoit, so I say Benoit. There's probably something missing, you know? They got little letters in there that I don't know, so maybe I'm saying it wrong. He understood me, he gave me back my change, all was good. But this lady, she was laughing. I don't know, she was like Benoit and laughing. So, could have just been my accent, because I don't think I sound a longo. Um, not sure, but it was kind of funny. I did actually try and learn. I hired a teacher. It did not go well. She was trying to teach me the letter NG. NG is one letter here. It is the letter between N and O. NG, Nga. She couldn't teach me how to say nah. She would say it, and I would say something mutilated. Nah. I was just mutilating it. I had no idea how to say it. It just was not something that my Western tongue knew how to do. And she just said, well, just keep practicing. You'll get it. And I'm like, practice what? I can't practice it if you don't tell me what I'm supposed to do. 
Let's just, just practice it. You'll get better. I said, if I don't know what is correct, how am I going to get better? I will practice it wrong is what I'll do. So I realized pretty quickly this teacher was not going to work out. Then, of course, I found out she wasn't actually a teacher. She was just willing to try and teach me for a fee. So, yeah, that didn't work. I actually learned how to say it from an American on YouTube. Because we use the NG in the middle and the end of words like singing, singing. It's in there, but we don't start a word with nya. And it was really hard for me to get around and learn it until this American guy went from an American point of view and says, here's where we use it. Concentrate on where your tongue is and how it works. Now we'll, you know, work into using at the beginning of a word. And following his example, I got it. And my wife says it's not exactly right, but it's close enough. Yeah. Um, you will hear it a lot. It's a very common letter. And I had no idea. I was a ying, ying. I kept trying to make it a ying, like ing, like ringing, singing. And it's, it, it doesn't have the I part of the I-N-G. It's just the N-G part. And it's at the beginning of the word or a word by itself. So it was kind of hard for me to grasp. Once I learned it, it was okay. I'm sure my accent is completely wrong. But it's close enough they understand me most of the time. The one today just amused me because she was saying, you know, Benoit, Benoit, and just laughing her ass off. So apparently I said it comically. I'm okay with that. I would like to find an actual teacher because the teacher I hired before was not a teacher. Um, I mean like with lesson plans and homework and test type of things, you know? Because I need the structure of uh, regular lessons and accountability. There's not much online for Alongo. There's a lot for Tagalog. There's a decent amount for Cebuano. There's not much for Alongo. And they're learning a dance behind me so we get musical accompaniment. Hopefully no copyright strike. Also today, I was going to the post office. Um, my ATM card expires on February 29th. Today, as I film this, is the 18th of February. Usually my card comes in two months early and I can forward it to me. It did not. It came in the end of January, so I forwarded my ATM card on January 20, does it say on here? 29th. Mail takes generally six weeks to get here. It's not uncommon. So I'm like, March is going to come through. I'm not going to have my ATM to get my allowance. There will be no grocery money. Well, I'll just Western Union some money. It won't be a problem. Well, I went to the post office today to check. Today is February 18th as I film this. And guess what? It was here. It just came in today. So January 29th in the U.S. It actually forwards out of North Carolina, although my address is not North Carolina. It got to Manila February 11th. It got to Ilo Ilo, Ilo on the 17th. It got to Otong on the 18th. And it got in my grubby little hands on the 18th because I just happened to check today. I was really just going to the post office to remind them who I was and what I looked like and that I was looking for mail. I didn't think it would come in until next week. Then the guy asked me, do you have ID? And I looked at him serious Gabi and says, why would I need ID? We all look alike. And he kind of looked at me trying to figure out if I was kidding or what in the hell I was talking about. So I took out my ID and showed it to him. And I got it in two weeks. Like, Two and a half weeks. I just am digging that. I, I can't, I really can't complain. And now I have my ATM card, so I'm good to go.
to those of you that say never use the post office here in the Philippines because the, everything will be lost or stolen, I gotta tell you, I've been here seven years. I have sent many, many things. Voters registrations, driver's license, ATM cards, credit cards, renewals of all of those things. I've sent many, many packages. I have never had anything lost or stolen except one time it was a magazine that I didn't really care about. I didn't mean to forward, but somehow I did. And the magazine never showed up. I don't know what happened to it, but any mail that matters, there's no single piece that's been lost. And I mean, I've had mail lost in the U.S., so I can't fault them for that. But this had my bank card in it. Everyone says, don't do that. But FedEx would have been $60. This was $4. And it got here in two weeks. FedEx wouldn't have been much quicker because it gets to Elo Elo, gets passed off to some other company, and then I have to spend a week tracking it down. I've dealt with FedEx before here. Maybe in Manila they're good. In Elo Elo, not so much. So I will continue to try and learn Ilongo. I will probably not do very well because I've been here seven years and have not done very well. But um, we will attempt it. We will try. Probably won't go well. Eh, what are you going to do? Foreigners learning a language is always a uh, point of contention. Like in the U.S., you will hear a lot dealing with Mexicans right now. Oh, they got to live here. They need to speak it. Yeah, I've heard all that. Um, ben Franklin used to complain about the Germans moving into Philadelphia not learning English. So it's an old complaint, okay? So coming here, I should learn the language. I've kind of tried, it's not going well. Such is life. Enjoy your day in paradise. Thank you.